Hello, I'm Matthew Lichtenberg. I'm a high school junior from Stanford, Connecticut, and my research project is on photoelectrochemical etching for solar applications. To date, most research on solar panels has been done in populous places with reasonable weather, but I was thinking about using solar power in more harsh environments, like on mountain ranges or on orbiting satellites, where durable panels, which need to be replaced less often, have significant advantages. So I focused my research on gallium nitride, which is a durable, high band gap semiconductor. My goal for this project was to make the surface of gallium nitride reflect the least amount of light possible to increase the efficiency. I used photoelectrochemical etching to alter the surface morphology of gallium nitride wafers. This process entailed finding the right combination of UV light, electric current, and chemical etchants to create an anti-reflective surface morphology. I built a custom enclosure and combined these forces in various combinations. The result turned out to be quite promising. Reflectivity of a material is often measured as a percent, and for solar applications, lower percentages are generally better. So etched silicon has a reflectivity under air of about 10 to 15 percent, whereas unetched gallium nitride has a reflectivity of about 30 percent. So my goal was to bring the 30% down to something in the vicinity of silicon. However, under the best condition, uh, the reflectivity was actually reduced to 9.3%, which is a huge improvement. So I wanted to show you what a gallium nitride wafer looks like on a molecular level. Here you can see an atomic force microscope image of an unetched gallium nitride wafer. It's relatively flat and a bit mirror-like. Um, whereas after my modification, you can see all these needle-like peaks on the surface and this helps to prevent light from bouncing off the surface like a mirror. And this surface modification looks very promising for future efforts. I would like to thank Dr. Mark Schwab, Dr. Matthew Freeman, and Professor Lisa Pfefferly for guidance and use of equipment throughout this study. Thank you for listening.